hi all welcome to my channel and today i uh, will be studying about uh, the firebase and the arduino board how the interface will work so how the things will interact so uh, let us start without any delay so here what we can do we can go to the google and there you just search the firebase and then here you will get the firebase okay just click over it and just you have to do a simple login as i have already logged in over here so it won't ask me again then just go to the right hand side here in the top side go to the console so yeah once this will open so this is the console basically okay that we will discuss so let us do one thing first we'll uh, go through the like code what uh, the code part okay so what you need to do is go to the sketch and then include the library and manage libraries okay uh, actually it will take some time yeah so it will update all the libraries whatever are uploaded already and then in the filter your search directly uh, you can search for the firebase it's a little bit slow yeah so now we can search firebase yeah so here you will see here firebase firebase esp8266 client right just install it i have already installed it so that's why it is showing me installed and then just go to file and example in the example you will see firebase arduino as you have already included that and then you can go to firebase demo esp8266 okay and yeah maybe i'll explain you all these things so these are two libraries they have installed uh, they have included one is for wi-fi other one is for this firebase and uh, then we have to define firebase host and authentication that i will discuss once we will start with the firebase thing there i will show you and then we have the wi-fi uh, name and the wi-fi password okay and then this is the void setup this is the like initializing thing uh, in it kind of thing like this will run only once so serial begin like this is the board at 9600 uh, for the serial communication and uh, then we are just running the wi-fi okay then uh, we'll wait for uh, the wi-fi to connect we'll wait here and once it will connect so we can write how it's connected and then we will print the local ip and then we will start our firebase with the firebase host and the authentication that I'll, I'll show you how to take those values and then we will set the float value in the number number is nothing but a node that we will be uh, defining in our database I, i'll show you that as well and here we have the value whatever we will want to set like 42 and then after that we will be checking the firebase whether we have connected to the firebase or not if not then we can just write over here like we will print the error similarly they are changing the value 43 okay and here they are printing the number so every time it will print only 43 because after 42 43 and then 43 will come to get the float right so set float means they are setting the value from here to the database get float means we can read the value of the database and we can print over here and then they are removing the number number will be nothing but a node then set string they are setting a string hello world named as a message the node will be named as a message and this will be as the the message will be as the hello world and again they are checking for the firebase connection whether that is still connected or not that we need not to do every time that once in the program we can check and then they have the value of the truth truth not as a false and yeah, then they are pushing some logs so that's it that's it they are doing okay so what we can do is we can directly jump to this part so what you need to do is you just need to go to the add project there you can name whatever you want name your project okay here i have already given the name node mcu demo i will just directly go over here okay and then you will see a similar window like this you just need to go to the database 
okay and in the database you will get two options basically one is the real time database and yeah yeah one is a real time database and the other one is cloud file so, so we'll be using over here the real time database okay so okay as we have seen in the program these logs and all these things are there okay we'll delete because i was using this for a program that i was running before my video okay so logs and all we have deleted okay okay we have deleted everything over here okay this is null now so just we'll keep only one thing number and the value is a zero and just we'll add this that's it okay uh, now yeah the main part now we had two things one was the authentication and another one was the host okay yeah host so first you will get the host so host how you you will get it here over to this database you will get this host just double click over it and after this double uh, this thing you can just copy till this okay just copy this and just paste it over here there okay and uh, this was the host thing so and the another one is authentication key we want right for that what you need to do here you can see the settings just go over here and the project settings there you will get the service accounts just click over that and service accounts And then here you will get the database secrets. Just click over that. Yeah. And if we go down here, you can see the secret. Do one thing, just click over show, copy it, and just paste it over here directly. Okay. To the authentication. So that's all you need to do. okay and then you can flash it over here okay so just one moment i'll connect my board so for me it is already like flashed so i won't do it again i will directly go to database and i'll show you how it works and i'll show you the seal communicator I, i'll reset it once so that I can show like how the, all the things are working. See, connecting, it got connected. The local IP address, then the number, we can see here as well. See, number we got 42, then 43, and then we'll delete. And the message we are getting hello world, and the truth we have false, right? So it is similar to that, whatever we have done over there. If you want to remove messy and truth, that also you can remove over there. That's a simple thing, okay so and see here also all the things are getting updated in the serial port okay so i think that's all from my side for this video uh, thank you for watching my video thank you